Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tom Ford Soleil Summer Collection and I purchased the entire collection. So let's start off with swatches. So we're going to start off with the eyeshadow palette and this is called Emerald Dusk and we'll talk a bit about the formula when we are looking at the demos but you can see our first shade here is I'm going to do um, two right next to each other just so to make the swatch a little thicker. Can see this is going to be a very light sheer more of a topper shade it's a very light like ivory champagne the next shade here is going to be a bit more of a satin peach and we do have some shimmer in here so you can see that is definitely going to be a much more pigmented then we have this green now i have to say i was hoping that this green was going to be a bit more pigmented than it actually is you can see it is pretty light, but I do have comparisons of this wet and dry, so you can see how that goes. Then the next shade here is this beautiful, rich, reddish brown, kind of like a red wood kind of shade, but yet it's not that overly warm red. There is some coolish, uh, a hint of coolness to it. So it's a really pretty, rich, slightly reddish neutral brown. So. Uh, yeah, you can see though that all of these shades do have some shimmer. None of these are going to be matte. Let's just do some wet arm swatches. All right, so here is the ivory shade. Well, I'll put this right next to it wet so you can kind of see how that compares. And you can see using the wet application, you just get a bit more radiance, but it's still going to be very light. Here is the peach wet and you can see it's going to be again, slightly deeper than the dry version, but honestly, these two are pretty close. So this shade, it's so pigmented, so rich in sheen that you don't really need to use this one wet. And then this is the green. You can see it's definitely gonna be more pigmented, brighter green when you use this one wet. And that's how I have this applied to my eyes right now. So you can see it's gonna be a nice, rich, it's not really an emerald green. Um, it's actually more, you, you've got kind of that deeper emerald with a little bit of forest green in the base, but then you have more of this teal blue shimmer in there. And then last up here is the brown. And again, this one, just like the peach shade, you don't really need to use that one wet to get the color. You know, it's pretty pigmented. It's gonna be slightly deeper wet, but they're pretty close. So here are the four shades, wet and dry. Let's take a look at the eye swatches and the demos while we talk a little bit about this palette. Now the Tom Ford packaging for the Soleil collection for the summer, that always has the white packaging with gold trim. So this packaging stays true to that. The Soleil Neige winter collection has silver trim. So that's going to be our main difference. This palette is number one, Emerald Dusk. It has a one year shelf life. It's made in Italy and we have six grams of product. Now, this formula is a little bit different than any of the other ones that we have seen before from Tom Ford. It's not going to be your same wet and dry formula, which we have seen in the past, but it is closest to the wet and dry formula. So recently, uh, Tom Ford's releases have typically been the creme formula or a repromote of, you know, a previous palette like Body Heat or Honeymoon. We see those quite, quite frequently. Or we've seen this new matte formula as well. So this is mo most similar to the original wet dry formula. It's a little bit less powdery than that. And perhaps the sheen, it's not quite as frosty of a look as the wet dry formula often could be. Now, not all of the wet dry palettes were like that, but something like New Dip, that ended up being very frosty with those lighter shades. These lighter shades kind of lack that frostiness and have more of a true sheen to it. Now, as I mentioned though, all of these shades do have some glitter. The deep brown, it doesn't really have too much glitter, but there is a tiny bit of golden shimmer to it. That one's gonna have the least shimmer out of any of the shades, but there is some present in all of the shades. So just something to note. Now, according to Tom Ford, each of these shades is a different finish. We have Sheer Sparkle, which would be our topper shade. 
There's the satin, which is the peach, the shimmer, and the matte. I would not classify the deepest brown as a true matte. There is definitely a satin finish to it. You could say satin matte, but again, there is the tiniest bit of shimmer in there. So to me, that is not gonna be a true matte. Now, also according to Tom Ford, these are formulated with advanced color processes and offer a spectrum of intensity and effects. And just like always, we have two custom applicators included. Now, another thing that is noted on the Tom Ford site is that the Tom Ford eyeshadows can be applied wet or dry if they have the Tom Ford logo imprinted on the shadow. These do not, but I do think that they perform just as well wet as your traditional wet dry formula. So just, you know, a little note there. And I, again, I would say that this formula is closest to that. All four of the shades are very smooth, easy to use. They go on very nicely, blend out well. I do wish the green was a bit more pigmented. It's pretty light. Now for people who don't really love a bright pop of color, this green is a green that's very easy to incorporate into an everyday look. You could use this in the inner corner for just a touch of green. You could use this to line the eyes and using this wet as a liner gives you a really nice touch in my opinion. And you could even just, you know, dab a little bit of this on, you know, in the center or mix with another shade to give it another look. So you can definitely go very, you know, easy every day, not too green looking with this palette. The other three shades are gorgeous, kind of warm, neutral shades. That peach really kind of warms things up, but the cocoa and the ivory shade are technically gonna be a little bit more neutral. Now, one other thing to know is this palette is available at a variety of retailers now, and some sites are selling it for 90 US dollars, whereas others have it for 95 US dollars. So definitely take a look when you're purchasing. And my guess is it is in, they're in the process of raising their prices again. So right now you can kind of see both prices depending on the retailer. So definitely uh, take a look when you are making a purchase. Overall, I have to say that I do like this palette a lot. I think that the shades all work well together. I like this formula a lot. It's very easy to use. You don't get a lot of fallout, but you can get a little bit of shimmer fallout. So just something to note there. And, you know, my biggest complaint is just that that green, you know, even if dry, it's very light, I would like it to be a little bit brighter still with a wet application. So I just think that would make this palette just, that would turn it into a love instead of an I like it a lot. So that's kind of where I am on this, but I do think all of the formulas are great and these perform very well. So it's a beautiful palette. I definitely do not regret picking this one up. Let's take a look at a few comparisons. All right, so first I want to take a look at this shade here from Dior. This is one of the Dior Monos in 280 Lucky Clover. And this is one that, you know, is going to be, we'll do this vertically so we can see this here. It's a really nice rich green. You can see that this is gonna be more of a forest green and we do have a really beautiful metallic. When you use this wet, this is more of your true like deep emerald green. Now the number one palette I want to compare it to is my favorite Chanel palette. This is a really old palette now. This is Empreinte du Désert. I don't know how many of you guys might still have this, but it is my all time favorite Chanel palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right here so we can take a look at this color story here. But you can see we do have some similar shades. We have more of a gold and uh, you know, nice brown here's our green you can see this is going to be a brighter green we don't really have that teal in there and then we have a deeper brown so different shades but it's kind of like an updated version of Empreinte Désert personally this formula I still like this one better just because you get such great pigmented colors very smooth very silky and these are actually in this palette, you can definitely share these out as well. So this one's just a little bit more versatile in that sense. The other palette I wanted to take a look at here, this is the Lancome and Louvre palette, the Richelieu Wing palette. And a lot of these shades are very, very similar to each other, but I wanted to take a look at the peach, this ivory, and the green here. 
So let's go ahead and we'll put these right down here. So here's the peach. You can see this is going to be a bit more, it's got a little bit more copper than the, um, the other one, <laughs> the Tom Ford. And you can see that this lightest shade here is really going to be more of a gold. Let's go ahead. We'll just swatch this pink one here as well. Just so you can kind of get an idea. That's going to be a more pink peach. And then we have this emerald green, which I love this emerald green. That's a really beautiful green. And this is kind of more what I was hoping for with a Tom Ford palette. And then I also wanted to take a look at the green in the Guerlain Holiday palette. So this is going to be Glittery Tiger. So we're just going to take a look at the green in this one. You can see the color story is definitely very different. Now this one also has a bit of a metallic sheen. We'll put this right next to the Dior one. And again, you can see it's more green. You can see the difference though with all of these greens, how much more teal you see in the uh, Tom Ford palette. And again, it's really just because, you know, we have that green base, but the shimmer in there is more of a teal. So when the light's hitting it, you see more teal to that green. So just something to note there, but I think it's a really beautiful green. It's just different from the others, which is a good thing. And one last palette. This is the Suku palette number 12. This is a permanent palette from Suku. And you can see this is going to be pretty different from the Tom Ford. But for those who want something more subdued, this is a good alternative. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one right here at the bottom. We have kind of this topper shade here. Can't really see that one too well on my arm. Then we have kind of this kind of khaki matte shade followed by this rich reddish brown. And you can see that this has a, it's a pretty similar shade. This is gonna be a little bit cooler than the Tom Ford. And then our green here also has a bit more teal. It's gonna be more similar. So this is another palette that I think is pretty, you know, a pretty good comparison. But this one here is gonna be a little bit more subdued in the sense that the shades itself, the green and so forth, are a little bit dustier, less less bright. So I hope that was helpful. Let's go ahead and move on to the highlighter. So I almost didn't get the highlighter because I thought it looked a lot like the Tom Ford Grand Paradis, which was part of the Soleil Nash collection. But this one here is number two, Nude Sand. And this is the Soleil Glow Highlighter. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're gonna go ahead, we'll put this one right here on my arm. So we can kind of see how that goes. You can see this is definitely going to be gold. And we'll just buff this one out a little bit here. So you can see we definitely have kind of a true gold highlighter. But it's more of, I'd say more of an antique gold versus a bright gold. So we'll look at some comparisons in a minute, but first let's just take a quick look at the demo. So you can see this on the cheeks. Now in the first demos here, I'm using two different brushes. I have the Chikahoto KZ3, and then I have the Refer 20 to show you kind of a heavier versus a lighter application. I have no other products on my cheeks aside from my foundation, which is the Clay de Peau in I-10. So, that's it and there's no blush to kind of interfere and you can see you can really get a, a subtle golden sheen definitely with with a little bit of luster to it or you can uh pile that on and get something a bit more glistening this also looks very nice if you put blush on top of it so it's kind of like this golden base you can mix this with bronzer to get kind of a glowy golden bronzer hue for a summer look as well now in today's application, I have this on using the KZ3 in a more subtle application with the blush. I'm using the old Tom Ford. Uh, this was the Eclat New blush duo that came out a few years ago. I personally still really like that one, uh, but it's a nice coral. So I've got that one on the cheeks and then you can see how the highlight kind of accentuates that. This highlighter has six grams of product, which is actually the exact same amount that we have in the eyeshadow palette. And they are about the same price. So again, the price can vary depending on the retailer. So definitely look around. I've seen 90 and 95 for this. It's made in Italy and there is no, you know, suggested expiration for this. 
Overall, I think it's a really beautiful highlighter. I like their Soleil Glow formula. Let's take a look at a few comparisons. So this is Nude Sand, the new one. And this one here with the silver trim is the Grand Paradis. And this was the Soleil Neige Glow Highlighter. So you can see side by side, this is gonna be much more of a champagne shade. We'll go ahead and we'll put this one vertically right there. You can see it's got a bit more ivory in there. It's gonna be a lighter highlight. So personally, I really like both of them. The Grand Paradis is a better shade for my complexion, but I have to say the Nude Sand does work nicely. While we're looking at the Tom Ford highlighters, let's also look at the other Soleil Neige one, Rose Irise. This is nothing like it, but I figure might as well just include it. You can see how much more, this is definitely much more pink. And it even looks more pink next to the Nude Sand than it does when you just have it with the Grand Paradis. So this is definitely gonna be a cooler tone highlight. Now a similar formula to these glow highlighters are those in the Shane Illuminate duos. This one here is Nude Light. So let's take a look at this gold here. And this is gonna be a more pigmented gold. We'll put that underneath. You can see it's gonna be a deeper gold shade. And then I also want to take a look at Mood Light. So let's start off with this lighter shade here. And we'll put that right there. You can see it's got a bit more ivory in it. And then let's look at the one on the bottom, but this one's gonna have a bit more rose. Yep, so the, that's it for the Tom Ford ones. And then the last one I want to take a look at is the Chantecaille Eclat Brillant from several years back. So I don't wear a lot of gold highlighters. This is like my only like true gold now. And you can see how the this one matches up with the Tom Ford. They're actually very, very close. The Chantecaille is just a touch more orange, like more of that like deeper yellow compared to the nude sand. So that's gonna be our difference with, the, with these. Now let's go ahead and move on to the lip products. And let's take a look first at the lip blush. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick this up, but I decided, you know, I wanted to try it out. You can see we kind of have this clear liquid with gold flakes suspended in there. You don't really see the gold flakes on the lips. Occasionally you'll get some on there. I'm gonna put this one right here on the back of my wrist. And you can see it goes on clear, but it's going to be a pH adaptive lip gloss essentially. And this is gonna turn pink. You can see it's already starting to turn pink. And in the lip swatches, I will show it to you after it's been on for several minutes. So you can see, you know, what color it will turn. Now this product, we'll talk a little bit more about this during the lip swatches. Let's go ahead and swatch the lipsticks and then we'll come back to this one so you can see how it has turned over the next couple minutes. Now the lipsticks in this collection are going to be the ultra shine lip colors. And I think this is a nice formula, uh, you know, overall I like them. This is going to be shade number 34, Rose Irise that I have on my lips right now. And you can see they give a high shine finish. They're thin, they are pigmented with one swipe. They're comfortable. So I like this formula from Tom Ford. I think it is a nice one. Our first shade here is 31, Ile d'Amour. And I'm just gonna go ahead, we'll do one swipe, and then right next to it, we go back and forth. So you can see this half here has just the one swipe. You can see that the color really doesn't change. We have full pigmentation with one swipe. So this shade here is a really beautiful, more orangey red, and I think it's a great summer color. 32 is Pesh Parody, and you can see that this is going to be kind of like a true deep peach with maybe like a burnt peach, burnt coral. You got a little bit of coral in there, um, but I think it's a really beautiful shade. This one in particular is gonna look great on those with warmer skin tones. And then we have 33 Plage New, and this is going to be kind of our lighter, rosier pink. You can see that the pink itself is gonna be neutral, leaning, warm. I think it's a really beautiful pink. This is a great everyday shade. This is probably the one that I'm going to get the most use out of. 
And then the last shade here is 34, Rose Irise. And again, this is what I have on my lips right now. And it is a really beautiful, kind of um, more of a deep raspberry, like a crushed raspberry. And I just, I really like it. So this is gonna be a cooler tone shade. So we have two warmer shades. This one here is neutral, leaning a little bit warm, and then a cooler shade. So 31, 32, 33, 34. And then you can see here our lip blush and how it is turning to this beautiful shade of pink. Let's move on to the lip swatches. The Soleil Liquid Lip Blush has six milliliters of product. It's made in Korea and there is no suggested shelf life for this. According to Tom Ford, it's an ode to Soleil Lip Blush. The iconic shade shifting formula debuts as a liquid balm that glides on clear and turns to a personalized pink stain. And you can see, you know, sometimes when you get these pH adapting lip serums and balms, you know, sometimes they turn just a little bit. Other times you get kind of this deep fuchsia. This is gonna give you more of a medium color, depth of color. So I did kind of speed up the uh, lip here so you can kind of see what it looks like after several minutes. I think it's actually a really beautiful shade and this is just something easy to wear. Now, I do want to take note of the way this smells. It reminds me of summer when I was growing up because we have a little bit of that coconut sunscreen kind of scent, you know, it's faint. I wouldn't say, you know, it's super strong, but I can definitely smell it when putting it on and it just kind of evokes memories of my childhood. So I personally, you know, is it a smell that I love? I never loved it or anything growing up, but it does bring back nice memories. So that's something to note there. Uh, I can taste a little bit of this. It has a little bit more of like an alcohol scent or alcohol taste to it. And just a little bit of that like chemical flavor there. So it's not a super strong taste, but it is there if I were to lick my lips. So just something to note, there is a little bit of taste. There is kind of that coconut sunscreen kind of scent to it. Now, according to Tom Ford, this product is free of parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, sulfates, SLS and SLES, triclocarbon and triclosan. And it's a moisturizing liquid balm hybrid that enhances lips natural color. The lustrous shine finish offers a fuller looking pout. So I have to say, I like this product. I don't love it because of the scent and the taste, but I do really like the way that it looks and it feels on the lips. It has a nice uh, thin serum texture. If you have tried the, um, the Rose Lip Serum that came out several months back, I personally like that, but that feels a little bit thinner, like a little more oily than this does. This has a little bit more body to it. It's slight, it's not a huge difference, but I would say overall they are similar in texture, but this one just has a little bit more substance to it. Now, as for the Ultra Shine lip colors, we have 3.3 grams of product and these are made in Italy. And you know, I think these are really nice one swipe kind of lipstick. They give you bright color, you have a sheen. They last, you know, you have kind of an average wear time. You could definitely blot these down and create a stain with this, but they're a nice product. They are not smudge resistant or anything like that, you know, which is, that's pretty much on par with other high shine lipsticks. So just some things to note, but I think it's a nice formula. And yeah, this is one that I like. I love the white packaging as well. Fragrance wise, we do have that Tom Ford lipstick scent that you get with all of his other lip products. It's not overly strong, but it's definitely there. If you were to lick your lips with this lipstick on, you would get a faint taste as well. It's gonna be similar to the taste that you get with the liquid lip blush as well. So, you know, if you're curious about that, they're pretty similar in taste. So I hope this has been helpful. I have to say I, the lipsticks and the liquid blush, I really like all of them. You know, I'm very happy with this. I was originally just gonna get these two or actually just this one. Then I <laughs> went with these two and then I ended up ordering all four because these like fiery shades, peachy shades for summer are just 
they really drew me in. And I think that this palette works really well with kind of these peachy shades if you are going to highlight kind of that peach satin on there and you can get this really beautiful, you know, peachy glow, warm summer goddess kind of look to it. You can definitely cool things off a bit with the green or using a bit more of that brown here as well. And I think it's a really nice palette. So overall, I like the palette a lot. I love the lipsticks and the lip blush. They're just so easy to use. And I think the variety of shades in the lipsticks really allows you to create a wider variety of full looks with this palette. And I think the highlighter, if you like golden highlights, you know, this is a really nice one. And I think it's one that's going to work well for a lot of people. I don't typically love gold highlights, but I do really like this one. So no regrets on any of these items. I'm actually very happy with this collection. Uh, again, I do wish that the green here was more pigmented, but you know, it performs well wet. And yeah, so I'm still happy with it. So those are my thoughts. I'd love to know what your thoughts are if you've tried any of these. And uh, yeah, please, thank you so much for watching. Please share your thoughts down below in the comments and I'll see you very soon. So have a wonderful day.